Hi everyone, I'm Liam Brader, the boys soccer head coach here at Santa Margarita Catholic High School. I originally never planned to be a coach. Um, I've always loved the sport and I've always loved being around any sport and I think I got lucky during my, my time playing college that I, um, I went out to, for a job really and did some work with my, my head coach, um, coaching young, young kids and from then onwards I got a little bit of a buzz for it, really enjoyed it. So. Naturally, soccer's all I've known and loved, so I just thought, you know, this might work for me, and, and from there, I just kept, kept going for more and more. Think about the practice session we did the other day in terms of pressing. The biggest point to take from that was, when we're pressing, we don't need to be rewarded by winning the ball. We need to make sure that we're full-on effort, and the guy behind me is the one that gets the reward. Yeah, my college days playing were, were especially the first year for sure, was, was a big eye-opener to the fact that coming over to America, that the facilities, the coaching, the seriousness of college play was was amazing to me. I felt almost like a professional being at college. So that's my first memory all the time and I always encourage my players, you know, go for it if you get a chance because it's amazing. You do feel like a professional player. The whole experience of training and, and watching game video and the stadiums that you play in and that sort of you know the crowds that come to watch you. So it, it's an amazing experience and, and you know if it's it's able to coincide with your with your schoolwork then it's a bonus. So you, you tend to overthink a lot more and you worry more than you do as a player. As a player stepping over the line onto the pitch you were you were, all nerves had gone the moment the first whistle went and the ball was kicked, but I think as a coach, um, over the years I've learned to take my emotions kind of away from it and try and put myself back in the position of a player um, with all the points that I make and all the, all the reasons that I, that I talk to the players about what's going on on the field. So, yeah, the, it's, it's hard sometimes because you want to be out there and kick every ball, you've still got that love for the game, but then you realise that your role is a little bit different and bigger um, and you have to kind of oversee all, all, of, the, all of the players. First off, I think I look. Um, you always want to see attitude in terms of before you've spoken to a player, seen a player. What's their natural attitude for training? What's their natural attitude for, for playing in games? And by that, I mean, you know, are they naturally hardworking? Uh, and players always think hard work is always the physical part, but are they talking? Are they communicating? Are they showing that they want to be part of a group and a team? Um, if you get those players, then you want to grab hold of them as a coach because you can really use them to, to shape and form a lot of your team. When you're, when you're looking at players in, in, on the soccer field, I think it's a unique sport in the sense that it's not always about how athletic you are. A lot of the time we talk about um, thinking ahead and being proactive as a player with your thoughts, which can then eliminate a lot of the physical challenges that players can have. So if you get a very skillful player that's also a proactive um, thinking player ahead, one or two players ahead, then you've got a really good player on your hands. But any, any development kind of conversations, a lot of the time we, we're coaching the, the, the thinking behind all the actions, you know, the reasons why anyone's doing a defensive moment or an attacking moment, why are you doing what you're doing and, and how are you how are you most successful with the with the athletic um, athletic body that you have? The Trinity League is fantastic. It's the players. If they don't know, we definitely have tried to push the fact that this is going to be high competition every game. There's not going to be a moment where we can rest and go, okay, we'll have an easy easy game this afternoon. It's not going to happen. So. Getting the mentality right is important, but we approach every game trying to also keep a calmness amongst it because high school is very passionate. There's a lot of community-based, you know, social aspects of it. So the players are always motivated for the games, but then it's about controlling those highs and lows um, so that we don't get too far ahead uh, and we're still able to produce on the field. Yeah, I think for me, high school coaching, like I've maybe just mentioned there, I think the, the community part of it, I also coach outside at the club team level and, and you do get that, but the whole, the fact that the school comes to watch you, the players I think, you know, playing very similar to a college experience, you've got a lot more friends and social uh, um, aspect coming to watch you perform and as an athlete, you, you want people to watch you. So I think I, I understand the players, why they're obsessed with kind of being part of this and when you represent your school, you represent, represent something slightly bigger than yourself and the group and, and it goes on for years after the, when you've left the school as well. So um, yeah, it's just exciting, the whole experience of it for sure. My approach to parents is you, you over the years learn as a coach that you have to put yourselves in their shoes a little bit so you see their view and, and what they're trying to do for their, for their own son and you understand that. Um, be honest, to be upfront, communicate really well, um, but also try and get their support. You know, before before we started this season, one of my one of my conversations with the parents was support your coach because if you're supportive of the staff that are working with your kid, then it tends to reflect them with your kids' thoughts as they're playing as well. So if we can get that, then we're, we're a few steps ahead of the game. Um, but we we have to be aware that the parents are looking after their their children. That's their main concern, and we we get that. Um, but we're going out there as coaches, trying to do the right thing and, and teach these guys the 
the ups and downs of life through the sport of soccer. Yeah, faith is, faith is really important for us and, and what I've liked so far is you, you see the, the growth and the maturity of the players. Um, we do the prayers before practice, before games, after games and, and the players will take that themselves and I think it's just a really effective way of getting that leadership aspect into your teams early on and it brings togetherness. It allows us all to get on the same page. Whatever's happened, we can reflect on it just for a few seconds, that's all it takes, but it just lowers everyone's kind of thinking and we, we come together as a group, so it's very important for us. Yeah, I've got several goals, I think, why I'm here. Uh, one of the first things I want to make sure is that the players come through the programme. However many years they're with us, they, they talk about it afterwards in a good way. So creating good memories for the players is really important. Um, as an ex-player, you know, you, you remember a lot of results, but you, let, you remember a lot of moments more. So creating moments for the players is really important. But of course, we understand what we're trying to do here is, is win, ultimately. So a championship, a, a playoff round, and, and, and keep progressing as a, as a programme would be great. Three words that describe me, um, what I'd like them to be anyway. Um, for sure, passionate. I'd love people to say that I was passionate because I, I'm lucky to say that I work within, uh, within something I absolutely love in, this, in terms of soccer. So I I'm definitely want to be passionate and, and people are thinking me that way. Um, I'm disciplined. I, I like to be on time. I like to do things right. I like to look professional um, with all aspects of my life. So, so for sure. Um, the third one could be tricky. Um, Caring, I suppose. I think, I think it's important. I, I think I, I want to get closer to my players so, that, so they understand that, that I'm not only there for, for the group, but I, but I care for them individually as well. So going beyond the soccer world in terms of them coming to me for any problems that they're going through, uh, I think it's great. And I, I always enjoyed that relationship with my coaches as well. So. Uh, the biggest quote I think I go back to that was given to me was before I actually made the move from England as a, a 17, 18 year old to come out here to college was, you know, it's a hard decision to leave your family. Um, and my granddad at the time said to me, just follow your heart. And you know what, it's, there's not many things that stayed with me, but even as a young boy, that, that's something that I, I've always taken and, and put it into all aspects of my life, and, you know, the work, the work arena, of course. But um, that would be something that sticks out for me that, that I would like to, to also pass on to other people in terms of any decisions they're making.